In this video, I will show you how to quickly and easily long and short on the platform BitMart. Everything you need to know about leverage trading on BitMart, we'll find out in this video. If you want to create an account on BitMart, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and you will get to exactly this page right here and you can get up to $3,000 of bonuses that you can easily pick up by following all of these different tasks. You will always get, if you're using the link from the description, the best bonus possible. To create an account, you simply have to enter your details right here and then you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log in for the first time, the page will look like this. The first thing I want to show you is how you can verify your account. You don't necessarily have to do that, but if you do it, you can use all of the features on the platform to do it. You go up here and then go to verification. There you can see you have these two different levels. Level one, you can basically do all of these things that you can see right here. You have some withdrawal limits and some leverage trading uh, limits that you cannot use and here you only have to upload um, a document, um, your ID or your driving license and then you can use the platform with all of its features. All right, next I want to show you how you can deposit easily crypto. You do can do that by simply going up here to your assets and then clicking on spot and then you simply click here on deposit. Then you can choose the cryptocurrency that you want to deposit right here, for example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, US dollar Tether, for example. Then you can choose a network. For example, I like to use the TRC20 network on US dollar Tether. And then you get your deposit address right here. You can copy that to your clipboard and send money here from your wallet or another exchange. It only takes a few minutes and it's without any fees. So very convenient. The other method, of course, is you can deposit with fiat money. You can do that by simply going up here to buy and sell. Then you have to choose your fiat currency, for example, US dollar, euro, whichever one you want. Then you can type in the amount, for example, 500 euro in this case. You can choose what currency you want to receive because you cannot have euro or US dollar or any other fiat currency on the platform. You have to choose a cryptocurrency that you want to receive, for example, Bitcoin. You can see these different payment providers right here listed, which um, payment method they offer and how much Bitcoin you would receive. Then you just have to set the check mark right here and click on buy. And then you get to this page right here. You can choose which payment method you want to use, what fees they have, you can confirm. And then once you have done that, it will take a few minutes. You can see right here, uh, maybe up to one or two hours, and then you will have the money right here on your account. You can always, of course, check if the money that you have deposited is already there by just going up to your assets, click on overview, and then you can see if the money has been credited to your account. It always should arrive on your spot account right here. All right, once you have the money deposited right here, the next thing we have to do is transfer it to our futures account. And we can do that by simply going up here to our futures account. Then you click on transfer right here and say from your spot account to your futures account, choose the currency, in this case, US dollar tether, type in the amount and then you click on confirm and then you will have it here on your futures account. As you can see, there are two different options. USDM futures account means you have US dollar tether deposited right here and then you can trade any cryptocurrency you want with it. Or you could use CoinM futures and deposit Ethereum or Bitcoin and, choose, uh, and trade either of these two different trading pairs. I'd recommend just use USD futures. It's the best option. Just deposit US dollar tether as your collateral, as your own capital, and then you can trade any cryptocurrency you want with it. All right, let's continue and um, next we can go to the trading platform. You just go up here to futures and then click right here on USDM futures and then you will get to the trading platform, which is, looks like this. So it might look a little bit complicated at the beginning, but I'm going to show you now everything you need to know to long and short any cryptocurrencies you want. So first of all, up here, you can choose your trading pair. You can choose Bitcoin or of course, any other of these different trading pairs right here. Once you have chosen the trading pair, you can see some information up here. Um, one thing that's also important up here is the funding fees. So of course, you have the funding fees right here that you can see here. And secondly, you also have the typical order fees. So we're going to take a look at that right now too. As you can see for a maker, you have a 0.02% fee, which would mean, of course, as a limit order, if you place a limit order. And if you are a taker, so if you're using a market order, you will have a 0.06% fee. Um, these fees are absolutely fine. I checked them with other comparable exchange, uh, futures exchange um, platforms, and these fees are absolutely fine. They are completely um, comparable to all of these other exchanges, so absolutely uh, fine for the fees. 
All right, then down below right here, we have the trading chart, uh, which is just a cutout from TradingView. So you have all the options that you have right here. You can choose different time frames right here. You can zoom within the chart, everything that you want to do. Here you can see the order books, so all the selling orders up here and all the buying orders down here in the market. And down here, you can see the recent trades that have happened. And also down here at the bottom, you can see all of your opened positions. We will take into a look into that uh, in just a bit when we open a position. And you can also see your open orders and your history. Here on the right side, you can uh, see your own capital. So um, if you don't see it here yet, you can also use the transfer and transfer to a futures account. But then once you have it in a futures account, you will see it here. And up here, you can control all of your trades. So you can open positions, close positions, choose the leverage and so on, which we're going to do right now. So first of all, I want to show you how you can open long positions. And first of all, I also want to really quickly show you how a limit order works. So let's go in here and set our leverage first. So you can see you can choose up to 100x leverage, you can easily type it in here or use the slide controller. Let's stick with 5x for now, just click on confirm. Then you can see Let's click on limit to open a limit order. And then you can see here, you can choose a price at which you want the position to be open. So let's say at $29,600, we want our position to be opened. Then we can choose um, a position size. You can type in, for example, okay, $500. And um, that would mean here a $500 position which would mean we are only using $100 of our own capital because we're using a 5x leverage. So this times five equals $500. Um, or you can use the side controller and say, for example, 100%, then you're using here your entire own capital. And this times five again means this position size. Then you can just click on open long. And then as you can see, nothing really happens. There's no open position yet because it's just an order that is placed right here, a limit order. And only if the price goes down to this right here, then our long position will be opened. Down here, you can also see it in here in your open orders. Um, you can leave it here or you can cancel at any point, of course, just click on cancel and then you have the order um, cancelled again. All right, this is just for a limit order. Now I want to show you what I would always recommend you is just use a market order because then you're entering the market immediately at the current market price. You can type in the amount right here. Let's say, for example, if you want to um, go with $500, of course, this would mean $100 of our own capital, not everything. Um, let's just leave it at that. Um, then you could also set a take profit and stop loss if you want to. Um, if you click on here, you can just simply type in, for example, at $31,000, I want my position to be closed, then that would mean uh, I would make $20 of profit. And let's say a stop loss at $29,500, that would mean a $5 loss. Also, you can see it in percentage as well. Um, then you can just click on open long. And then we have our position opened. You can see in here, this is where we entered the market. Here's our stop loss. And if you scroll down, up a little bit, here's our take profit. Down here, you can see everything important that you need to know about your position. You can see what trade it is, um, what leverage you're using, 5x. You can see the position size. You can see where you entered the position, what's the current market price. You can see the liquidation price. So if you don't have a stop loss um, and the price would go down to this price, then the entire position would be closed automatically and you would lose all of your own capital in this trade, which is right here, your margin. In this case, it's the $100 that we used. Here you can also see your PL, so your take pro uh, your profit and loss that is currently in the position. So since we've opened the position, as you can see, the price has risen a little bit. That's where why we are right now four cents in a profit. Here you could um, edit your take profit and stop loss. You could add new ones if you want to do so. And if you go in here to your open orders, as you know, we already opened uh, them right here when we opened the position. So you can also see them right here or of course in the chart. But of course you could at any point cancel them right here if you don't if you want to do so uh, and then you don't see them in here anymore but then you can just go here to a current position click on this and just add new ones if you want to do and you can always of course see your take profit and stop loss in here and then yeah if you just click on confirm then you will have them back in here again all right, that's pretty much all there is to say for a long position. You can just leave it now, wait until one of these is hit or just close the position manually at any point. If you are in profit at some point, you can always, of course, just click on close, just choose market uh, price. You can choose how much percent of the position you want to be closed. Let's just close all of it. And then you can see how much profit you're taking. Right now, the price hasn't really moved. Just click on confirm 
and then you're out of the position again. All right, next up, I also wanna show you how the same works for a short position. So again, you just say open, you choose your leverage, you type in the position size. It's in this case, just go for the slide controller and put it at somewhere here. You can see now we're going in with $107, which means $544 of the position size. Let's not set a take profit and stop loss now because we can do that later on too. And click on open short. As you can see, now it has opened. We can see now it's in red because it's a short position. Here, down here, you can see everything again, size, entry price, and now the liquidation price is of course above. Now, if the because of the price, if the price goes up, we're making a loss. If the price goes down, we're making profit. So if the price goes up to three uh, thirty-five thousand dollars six hundred, then we would lose in this case all of our margin. But of course, we can set a take profit and stop loss later on, and then that won't happen. Here you can see our margin, our own capital in the trade, take uh, profit and loss. Nothing really happened. Maybe the price has gone up a little bit. So that's ah, now it, it's gone down a little bit. That's where why we are one cent in profit. And if you click on here, we can now set a take profit and stop loss. Let's say if the price goes down to $28,000, let's say that, then we would make $32 of profit. And if the price goes up to $30,200 or something, we would make $6 of a loss. Click on confirm. And then we've set them to this is our stop loss. If the price goes up, we are making a loss. If the price goes down to here, we are making the profit. And that's how you can do all the same for a short position. Of course, again, if you want to close at any point, simply go here, down here and click on close. You can close the entire position. Five cents of profits. The price has gone down a little bit. Click on confirm and you're out of the position again. Don't forget to create an account on BitMart by using the link down from the video description to get the best sign-up bonus possible. And if you have any other questions, always feel free to ask them in the comments.